Hey guys, how do you make $25,000 a month wholesaling real estate? Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel here, and then at the end, give me a big like if you would. So how do you make $25,000 a month wholesaling real estate? Well, let's talk about this a little bit. Man, there is so much crap out there so much stuff people feed you all the time to do this do this and do this and just come down to some real simple things guys don't overthink it especially in today's marketplace oh my god if you can't make that personally you need your ass kicked okay it just comes down to that so it's very easy to do that on things you just got to be very consistent with different components of things but i'm not going to show you some basic things that i think can easily achieve that goal so how do you make $25,000 a month consistently, you know, with uh, wholesaling real estate? Well, let's look at some uh, components here. So first thing you have to look at, let's go back here and we'll write on the board a little bit. First thing you got to, guys got to understand is one, you know, put your goal out there, okay? Because so many people like, they, they just, th they don't even have an idea where they're at. So say you want to do 25K per month, okay? That's your goal. Okay, and you want to create that in more as a consistent flow of things. Okay, so if that's the case. Let's think about that. Let's just break that down some. All right, so the next thing we have to look at, instead of looking at, say, and this all depends on your marketplace. You could be in a marketplace where this is easily achievable on one deal or a fraction of a deal, okay? But at the same time, a lot of you might be in marketplaces that don't support that on a regular basis, okay? Maybe that's a whale of a deal for you, but we're just gonna break it down to make it a little simpler on things, okay? So let's just say you're in a position where commonly in that area, and you see this a lot in the Midwest and places like that, uh, like, say, like I say, other places you might be able to push the margin a little bit more. And even I see people in California sometimes that don't make as much on some deals, but you get better at it. And as you get better at it, you'll be able to increase those margins, okay? So let's just say that you figure out, and you can use this as real simple numbers, guys, to start with. And let's say your average is $10,000 per deal, okay? $10,000 per deal, okay? So average 10K per deal that you're looking at on things. So that means on this uh, side of things here, what do we have to do? Well, obviously at 10,000, how many deals we need to complete? We got to complete, what, pretty well close to three, uh, or if you want to say two and a half, whatever, but let's just say three deals, okay? So we want three deals, so that could actually push us up to 30K a month, okay? So three deals a month at $10,000 a pop, okay? Now, here's where I've seen so many people screw up on things. So they go out there, okay? Now, just bear with me on this a minute, okay? So they go out there and they say, all right, cool, man, I've got this thing down. This is what I'm gonna do. They just went to a weekend seminar and they figured this all out and they got it, you know, they listened to the guru tell them about how they're gonna go out and make money and all this stuff. And they say, I'm gonna do this. And then they go out and they start struggling and have problems. Okay, first of all, get clear where you're wanting to go. Secondly, understand really what your numbers are and then you gotta start reverse engineering those numbers, guys, okay? And start understanding, you know, what actions you're gonna have to take to achieve that result, okay? For, <clears throat> for example, okay, let's just say that we see this uh, as a national average a lot of times. You might need 20 leads coming in to get one contract. 20 leads coming in. So you say 20 leads coming in to get one contract, okay? Everybody with me on that? All right, cool. So 20 leads on that. So that means to get to the point of getting, what, three contracts on this here, we would need 60 leads, right? On the side of things to get to that point. We would need 60 leads to be able to get that. But here's the thing that most people forget. Not every single deal you put under contract is going to close. There's so much crap out there that people try to tell you on this. You'll hear this in the seminar, but what they don't tell you is that a lot of those deals don't close. It's not that, that they won't ever close. It's just a lot of times there are title issues, things get delayed, things like that. So what I've learned is if you really want to get consistent with this, you better be in a position where you start focusing on not just hitting this, but you got to factor on guys, not, not three deals under contract, 
you better get to the point of putting six deals under contract every month, six deals. Because what's gonna happen, guys, if you put six deals under contract every month, okay, what that's going to do, it's gonna allow you to have delays, it's gonna allow you to have fallout, and then you'll find out, you'll probably start closing an average of two to three per month and get uh, to that point of averaging an average of $25,000 per month. That's what it takes. That's the truth. That's the real world side of things, guys. So if that's the case, think about this too, as you reverse engineer your numbers, there's a very good chance you're gonna have to up your leads too, aren't you? Because if you wanna crank out more deals, you need to up your leads. So really look at it, you're gonna probably need close to 120 leads per month to accomplish that. See, that's, that's the problem with most people in this business. That's, that's why a lot of people drop out and that's a lot of people that they, they just do a nosedive because they don't reverse engineer this. They think that they can go out and just put a deal under contract and all of a sudden everybody's gonna win. There's a lot of times people put deals under contracts and it doesn't close. And then if you're counting on that, what happens is it'll let the air out of your balloon and you'll get disgusted, you'll get frustrated. Oh, this doesn't work. Guys, go out there, put, build enough deals in the pipeline and some of them, all you gotta look at is some of them are gonna hit and some of them are not. You know, if you've done a good deal, then it's, it'll go together. But if it's not a good deal, it'll fall out. But at the same time, there's title issues, things you can't control. But if you do that, then you're gonna to get to the point where you'll be able to consistently have two or three a month and it'll cause a chain reaction. What We always look at the laws of cause and effect and you will actually continue to get these results, guys, and be able to get yourself up to that $25,000 a month by constantly doing that. That is a simple, uh, I should say simple game plan that you can apply to get yourself up to that number, okay? So I hope this helps here on things, guys, and uh, just, just apply it, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. It's, it's that hard, or, or it's not that hard, <laughs> and it's, it's also in a position, guys, where, yeah, I don't like to say it's easy because it, it you know, a lot of people think it's real easy, but it takes work, okay? Like with anything, it takes work. You have to work it. Guys, thank you so much, and hey, do me a favor. Before you leave here, Make sure to give me a, a big like on this and also please subscribe to my channel and share to someone else. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you on the next one.